Hi there, and welcome to Obtaining Code Coverage Metrics with GTest with C and C++ code. Code coverage metrics are used as best practice to check test effectiveness whilst unit testing, and it's a good indicator or confidence builder that unit tests are complete or, or nearing completion. And um, you know, a lot of people use tools like GCOV uh, to generate statement or ARC coverage, but generally the reporting could be quite weak uh, or only available with particular compilers and, uh, and tool chains. So um, uh, for this video, what we'll do is, is present how to achieve results like this, where we can achieve statement branch and MCDC coverage as well. And this is really for you know, mission critical systems or anything that needs a, a higher level of a coverage detail on the on their code coverage reporting. So very quickly, let's take a look at how it can be done. So what I'll do here is I'll exit the, the, the report that you see here and I'll go ahead and um, first of all, start with a, with, a, with a clear. And then I'll start with a cleanup here. So uh, let's just uh, perform a workspace cleanup. And what I've got here is a simple Blinky project with some uh, simple G-tests. So uh, in order to build the system, I have a build script here, and this will build the unit test harnesses. And this should rebuild the uh, G-test scripts that I have here. And uh, let's go ahead and see. Yep, there's a build artifact here. Uh, Blinky tests is my, uh, my, my, my test runner. So let's go ahead and run that and uh, make sure we can see some results there. So that's great. I only have one test here. It seems to be running okay and it's passed. So how do we get some coverage on that? Well, first of all, we have to build the instrumented version of uh, that um, uh, code or the test runner. So let's go ahead and uh, perform that step. And this is all highly automated here. So I can just run this build instrumented script here and this will re uh, instrument the source code and then rebuild that uh, gtest runner there okay so next what we can do is um, check that the build artifact is there it looks okay so let's just double check that that's there yep blinky tests and what we'll do is we'll um, we'll run uh, blinky tests again and again we have some results same results pass um, and uh, right now what we can do is take a look at um, our, our coverage situation. So what we've got is um, you know, some output there, the exh file, which is the coverage data that um, this tool needs to generate the, the coverage information. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that data into the coverage tool and generate some reports. And let's go ahead and uh, launch that HTML report and uh, we should see some uh, decent results here where we're getting some dynamic coverage analysis reports on the unit under test here. So what we have here is, um, uh, you know, overall objectives not uh, achieved. We've only got one run here and uh, we can see we've got this table here. We have Blinky update uh, has some gaps in here. So let's go ahead and check that. So this is the line by line reporting capability that we have in this report. Uh, so we've got some uh, switch statement. Uh, and some default case that we haven't hit yet with our testing. And also what we can do is take a look at the MCDC coverage reporting, which is quite strong in this report. So what we see is um, we have a statement like this that has um, some MCDC construct in there. And then what we can do is actually understand, well, you know, what are the um, sets of conditions that um, I've executed so far? So right now I've um, gone through the, the, the combination that gives a true and a true and the expected outcome. But what I need to do to improve my MCDC coverage is execute some other scenarios that go through the different um, outcomes of, uh, and different conditions within that statement. Okay, so that's a really quick look at achieving code coverage uh, with GTest. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like any more information, then please get in touch via these channels.